Greetings friends and welcome to Let's Make a Tower Defense Part 8. In today's video I'm going to show you how to upgrade an already existing tower. It's kind of like a staple for tower defense games to have like a, you know, like a level 1 tower, level 2, level 3, that sort of a thing. And I'll show you the basics of it. So the first thing I'm going to do is copy my original arrow tower. And this, what I'm going to do here is create another model for the like level 2 arrow tower. Okay. So you could just have, when it's level 2, it's like damage and range gets increased and it's firing rate and accuracy, whatever, whatever. But I think I'm going to create a whole different tower and I'm going to paint it. Um, just, you know, so there's a visual cue that it's a different kind of tower. So I think I'll go into tools and I'll go to spray paint. Not just, by default you should be on stamp or smear shape. I'm going to go to spray paint. I'm going to choose a color, let's say red. Whoops. Choose red and be like, oh, righty. Let's see that it's gone all the way around. Yeah. So we've got like a nice red, redness there. Now I had just a little bit of a yellow trim. Getting very artistic in today's app. But yeah, so this is going to be our, our rather sad looking uh, level two tower. And some other things you can do is go into it. Go into your arrow shooter. If you want to, for example, change the range or whatever. Um, maybe go into the tower logic. This is the trigger zone for like um, uh, where the enemies are, like when to start attacking them. So if you want, you can make this like slightly larger. You'll be like, oh, the level two one has like a larger range, a larger radius, that sort of a thing. Um, the main stuff I'm sure you'll want to change is the, um, oh, let me see the logic, is maybe like the damage. So you'll be like, okay, cool. I wanted to do, I mean, at the moment, it's already a one hit kill, but you can increase the damage here. Um, actually, what we'll do is, I think we'll go to our default tower and we'll make it so that it does minus 50 damage. And now our level two one is going to do minus 100 damage, so it does twice the damage. Um, if you want to increase the firing rate of your tower, you'll just go into your emitter. And you'll reduce the time between emits. Um, yeah, so the less time there is between the emits, um, it'll it'll increase the it'll increase the um, the frequency of the shots. You can also change the speed, so it's kind of like maybe the original one is kind of just like do do, and then this one will be like do 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 do. You know, it'll be like super fast. Uh, that demonstration didn't really tell you anything that you needed to know, but uh, it was kind of fun to do. So yeah, alrighty. So that's how you change the attack frequency. If you want to change the damage, you go into the arrow, change the health modifier. If you want to change the range of the tower, go into the trigger zone for the baddie, which is the detection range. That increases its kind of attack range. Alrighty, friends. So the next thing that we're going to look at is how to actually now spawn this tower that we've got, um, how to upgrade it. So what we're going to do is go into our tower building node. Ooh, we can turn off the grid snap now. Alrighty. Then, if we recall, we made a cell menu in the previous um, in the previous uh, what you call the previous video. That's the word I was looking for. And what we're going to do in this one is actually use all the stuff that we have already existing. But we're going to go into the text displayer. We're going to go press L1 so you go before cell, and we're going to go down to the the li the line break. Then we're going to go angle bracket up, which will, and then close it with another angle bracket, and that'll give us up on the D-pad, and this will be upgrade. Alrighty. So now we've got our little text display, we'll show you can upgrade and, or you can sell. And if we don't like the way this looks with, if we want it to align nicely, we can go to alignment and have it aligned to the left or the right or the middle really depends on what you what you feel is best. I kind of like it when it's, you know, all on one side. But that's up to you. Alrighty, now we can move these things out of the way just for the sake of neatness. And we can give ourselves, um, we can actually like add in a nice little uh, microchip. So let's go to gadgets, logic and processing, and then let's go microchip. Alrighty. This microchip, we can go into our controller sensor, page three, and we'll go up button, we'll power this microchip. And this microchip will, of course, be, will of course, be up 
upgrade. Alrighty. And in the upgrade, it's actually going to be super similar to the original um, sort of purchasing spawning menu. We're going to copy the transact and we're going to copy the um, arrow spawn. This is going to be upgrading the arrow tower. Alrighty. So transact is going to be powered. We can just take that here. Make that connection. We can actually delete this this one here because it'll, you see it'll go there whoop, by default. Alrighty. And in our transaction, remember this checks if you have enough money. And now we'll determine how much this will cost. Let's make it so that the upgraded arrow tower will cost you 10 bucks. Alrighty, so now it'll cost you 10 bucks. Um, so you'll change the amount to check and you'll change the amount that is reduced from your money when you buy it. Um, yeah. Then what we're going to do is... Alrighty. The first thing we're going to do is have this not output. So in other words, when it's not... when In other words, when you have enough cash. So do you have less... Do you have less than 10? Yes. Well, then you're going to get this um, not enough cash thingy uh, timeline. It'll just be like not enough cash, but be, we remember from the last video. If it is, if you do have more than 10, then it's going to trigger this not gate, which will, you know, by default build us the tower and so on and so forth. But we're also going to have it so that this not output is going to go to destroy emitted objects. Look, we've already got it from the last video, but I'll go into it just for the sake of um, clarity. We'll go into the inputs and outputs and we'll connect it to destroy emitted objects. Because when you build the new tower, you want to get rid of the old one and you want to build um, a new one in its place, right? But now we've got to choose, this one we can call it arrow level 2, level 2 spawn. So this will now spawn the level 2 arrow tower. But we must actually select it. So let's go to object to emit and let's select not the original one, but this one over here. And then let us adjust its position as is needed. Mm. Might want to use a grid snap for this. Depends. Um, yeah. Also, friends, just just a, another tip is if you you can increase the size of your tower. It, it often happens like that in tower defense games, like the level one version is really small and the level two one is very small. But just be aware that when you change the size of something, it'll increase, it'll increase the range of, it'll, it'll increase the range of detection. It'll increase the size of the arrows. Um, and it might, if you've got anything related to speed, it might increase the speed of things, you know. So just be wary when you increase the size of things, it kind of scales up everything about it. It won't change the damage that's dealt, um, but just be wary if you're increasing the size of stuff. Because you might be like, cool, cool, I've made my tower bigger, and all of a sudden it can shoot to like the whole other side of the map. Um, so, yeah, just be just be careful of that, but experiment and see what works for you. Alrighty, so now this will appear. So what's happening? When we've got our controller sensor and the up arrow is pressed, what's going to happen is whoop, it's going to go to transact, does the person have less than uh, 10 cash? Yes, they have less. Then it's going to be like not enough cash. If you have more than 10 cash, it's going to reduce your money. It's going to deactivate the price check so it doesn't say not enough cash after you've purchased it. Then it is going to delete the tower. Alrighty. Delete the tower that was originally there, which is here. So we can follow this connection. Woo! It's going to delete the emitted objects. And then it's also going to build the new one on top of it. Alrighty. And that's all going to happen when we press up on the D-pad. So let's see if this works. Give ourselves a young playthrough. So we'll go, okay, cool, cool. Arrow tower. Oh, actually, I don't have enough cash. Um, so actually, I'm just going to cheat a little bit. I'm going to go into the, the OG... Uh, uh, um, the home of all our variables, and I'm going to give myself some more cash, just for the sake of it. So I'll give myself 15, that's the exact amount that I need. And I'm going to go, alrighty, arrow tower, and then I want a cool arrow tower, so I go upgrade, da -da -ding! I didn't place it perfectly, but here we are. Here we have the cool next level arrow tower. 
Ding, ding, ding. Alrighty, friends, now let's do the cannon tower. So, much like before, I'm going to go to guides, turn on the grid snap, move it over just a little bit. Then I'm going to get a little bit creative. I'll be like, okay, cool. This one is going to have some, some red as well. Red is very much a level two color for me today. Give it a nice little bit of rainbow coloring going on here. It's nice to be consistent with your sort of art direction. Oh gosh, even if it is terrible. Okay, this is my terrible, horrific, not very nicely aligned um, <laughs> level two, level two cannon tower. I'm going to make some adjustments. I want this cannon tower to have a few different things. So I'm going to go health modifier. Ah, okay, this already does a hundred. So let's actually go back to our original, make our original version a little bit more, a little bit lamer. So the original is going to do minus 50 damage. And let's have it so that this cool new version does does more than that. Um, and, alrighty, that's the original area of effect. So what I can do is if I want to make this more cool, I can go to health modifier, I can change the damage, and I can go to its zone properties and increase the zone size. So it's like, oh, when it's level 2, it now does, you know, it now does 3, it does the damage in a larger AoE, for example. Um, and you can change the frequency of attacks as before. You just go to the emitter and you reduce the time between emits and so on and so forth. Alrighty, so here we have our level 2 rather ugly looking cannon tower. You must forgive me, but I'll leave that creative side up to you guys. Logic is the real, the real point of interest at the moment. Alrighty, so this is our cell menu and we can actually call this our upgrade or cell menu. Um, so we can say... Upgrade slash cell menu. Alrighty. And we can actually add a stipulation or a little bracket that says arrow so we don't confuse ourselves. Alrighty, so that's that. And then this one we can call, this is just so that we don't get confused at a later date. Upgrade slash cell menu. And I'll call this Canon. Alrighty. Alrighty tanty. So just as before, I'll move this stuff out of the way. I will go to the original building uh, logic and I'll take the transact and the cannon spawn and I'll just copy those directly. I'll go to the controller sensor, page three, up on the D-pad, go into transact. I actually put all of these in another microchip. But you don't have to, that's just for the sake of it, um, for the sake of neatness. But you can actually just do it straight. Okay, I'll power the transact like that. The amount, uh, let's make it so that it is, the upgraded cannon will cost you, let's say, 11. It'll cost you 11 bucks. So you'll make it, you'll make a check that you have at least 11. You'll make it cost you minus 11. Don't um, make sure that you keep the negatives and positives where they're meant to be because a few times with damage as well, like I changed the damage of something and it was doing nothing, but it w I changed it to a positive value and I was like changing all sorts of things and really scratching my head. So just remember to be super aware of these negatives and positives and all that sort of stuff. Alrighty, then we're going to make this delete the original cannon, destroy emitted objects, and then build the new one. So we'll call this one Canon Level 2 Spawn. Just a good idea to name these things as always. Level 2. Oh, I've got it here. Canon Level 2 Spawn. And we'll choose the object to emit, and that'll be our Canon Level 2. Let's change the orientation and the positioning so that it is in the right spot. It's a little bit all over the place at the moment. Remember to be careful if you change the size of it. It can be tempting to change the size. Um, but just remember that there will be there will be a knock-on effect if you do that. But damn, this thing is so big. Must be mad. Alrighty, so here we have a very bulbous cannon tower. Um, alrighty. And that is going to be our cannon upgrader. So let's see if these both work. Play mode. 
Let's pull the arrow tower. We know that that upgrades quite nicely. Perfect. Alrighty. Just gonna rewind. Because I will actually have to give myself some more cash. Because I know the ah, I'm just gonna give myself I'm gonna give myself twenty-five. Did I give myself twenty-five? I don't know if I did it right. Sorry about that. Money twenty-five. Initial value twenty-five. Alrighty. No, oh, that was weird. Anyway. And now let's go build the cannon tower. Let's see if we can upgrade it. Oh, whoops. Okay. I have upgraded it. Let's see if it works. But I forgot to change the text menu. Remember. Forgot to change that. But we can change that very easily. Oh, there we go. Boom, boom. Nice. This one's kicking ass. Kicking proper ass. Okay, cool. So one thing I forgot to do was just to go into... Whoops. Was to go into this. And in that menu... To change the text display that says upgrade slash sell, that's an easy fix. We just go into here, we go next line, then we go back, use our angle brackets for the PlayStation buttons, button icons, and we'll say up is, of course, upgrade. Alrighty. So friends, there we are. That is the gist of it. They aren't looking amazingly beautiful at the moment, if I'm honest, but... They are at least upgrading quite nicely. Ooh. You can also um, mess around with realigning them properly. I might just do that. Okay, guys, just a pro strat if you want to align them both. What you can do is I've just gone to the arrow spawn, the original one, and then the one for the, uh, the level 2 arrow. You go to the emitter specifically, and they sort of line up simultaneously, and you can see these white little balls, and you can move them around so that they line up nicely. So that's just a little tip. Alrighty. Okay, friends, just in the last playthrough, I noticed that one problem was that once we've actually built a tower that we can upgrade, we can actually then press upgrade again and, you know, to infinity. So we don't want that to actually happen. And we're going to do a few things to address that. We also want to be able to sell our upgraded tower, don't we? So that's the thing. Once you add one thing, it actually compounds the logic quite a bit. So in order for us to fix that problem, the first thing we're going to have to do is actually have the emitter itself, for the level 2 arrow tower, needs to be outside. All right? It needs to be outside of this. So we're going to take that to over here. We're going to put it here so that it makes it that the arrow spawn and the arrow level 2 spawn are next to each other. They need to be outside of this microchip because if another microchip is being powered, then this one won't be powered and we won't be able to destroy something. In other words, you know, we've got the destroy emitted objects. We won't be able to use destroy emitted objects to like sell a level 2 tower if it's within that original microchip. So that is a little bit intense little bit of a head scratcher but I've just been playing around with it and this is what you've got to do alrighty so you have the arrow spawn and the arrow level 2 spawn da, 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 da. all of these things outside of any microchip but all the logic stays within that original microchip alrighty so okay cool now what we want to do is make it so that when you have um, either upgraded or you have either sold the tower. So when you sell the tower, it's going to go back to A so you can build more stuff. But if you want to upgrade the tower, then we want it to go to another menu that allows you to sell or, you know, potentially upgrade it to a level 3 tower. So what we're going to do for that is pretty much copy this. We're going to copy this. And if you want to be able to upgrade, you just keep the upgrading stuff there. But I'm going to get rid of the upgrading for now, just focusing on the selling of the upgraded tower. And then what we're going to do for this is we're going to make it so that this is connected to another um, output of the selector. So we're going to add two more. Make it five, going up to E. And we'll make it so that when you have upgraded the tower, so... You see this, we can use this not output. So in other words, when you have enough cash, or rather you can make it so that when this has just emitted, so when the tower has spawned, it'll take us to number D. And output D is going to power the cell menu for the arrow tower. 
and this will allow us to sell the upgraded version. So we can change the text so that it's just sell. Sorry friends, I know this is this is quite intense at the moment, but just bear with me. So this will allow us to this will change the text displayer. So once we've upgraded it, it'll say like do you want to sell it? Um, and not like just keep able to upgrading it upgrade it again and lose your money but not actually get a better tower. And alrighty, then once it has done that, it is going to destroy the level two tower. Because of course there's no point in destroying the level one tower because that won't be there. It's already been destroyed to summon the level two one. So then we'll destroy the level two one. Alrighty. And that's not all. We shall also, when we press down, or when this this is all worked, I'm gonna minimize this. We're gonna go back to A. So once we've sold it, we can then start building more towers again. Alrighty. So the logic is looking rather complex at the moment, but we'll be fine. Ooh, one thing we might want to change is the amount you get. Alrighty. So by default you get two for so the normal cost of an arrow tower is five, but upgraded arrow tower costs an additional ten, so that's fifteen. If we're giving back half of that, then half of 15 is like 7.5, but I'm just going to make that 7. So we've got whole numbers. Alrighty, and then the final thing I'm going to change is actually not make it so that when you press down on the D-pad that it activates A, but after this 0.1 second, it is going to go back to A. Alrighty, the reason we, we give it that 0.1 second is because if you don't do that, it'll go back to A before it actually destroys this tower. So let's have a squiz to see if it works. Alrighty, arrow tower, upgrade it, and then sell it. And here we are, back to the original menu. Woohoo! And then we can do the exact same for the cannon tower. So we can actually just copy paste this, because it's mostly the same. We'll go into our cannon tower, so that when the cannon tower level 2 has just been emitted, it'll take us to number E. E will power this, which is the cell menu for the level 2 cannon tower. We can change the name. You can also call it level 2 if you like. Alrighty. Then what we're going to do is after this 0.1 second gap, it's going to take us, or the little, little timer, it's going to take us back to A. It's also going to destroy the level 2 cannon. This is working just as before with the cannon tower, uh, the arrow tower rather. And that is pretty much it. We're going to change the cost. So the cost of the, the cannon tower is 6, and then it's 11, so that's uh, 17. Half of 17 is 8.5, but I'll just make it 8. So now you can upgrade a uh, cannon tower and then sell it. So let's have a squeeze to see if it works. Alrighty, cannon tower, upgrade, and sell. Alrighty, friends, that is the gist of it. Um, let's actually just have a quick playthrough of them both. So I'll go cannon tower, upgrade, sell, and then I shall go arrow tower, upgrade, and sell. Alrighty, friends, that's all there is to it. Uh, I hope you found this useful. It was a bit intense, but um, hit me up with any comments if you have any questions. This is probably our hardest video, so um, thanks for sticking sticking with me, and um, I hope you found it like not too confusing and the logic wasn't too intense. It is a bit messy at the moment, but um, yeah, hopefully we'll we'll neaten things up in the future videos and make sure everything is clarified and everything's working. But if anything was a bit too fast or a bit too confusing for you, let me know and I'll help out as best I can. All right. Thanks, friends. I shall catch you on the flip-flop. Peace out.